How you guys doing today? This is Leo. I've seen in the group there's a there, there's a significant amount of rookies, and they're always. I mean, when I was younger, I always tried to find a way to make things go faster. Now, I'm not taping with a bazooka today. I've got a 220 sheet house to tape with a 20 foot room outside the door over there that goes up into a cathedral ceiling. It goes all the way across the entire house. Um, we'll be doing it off scaffold, but I'm taping this house by myself and I'll probably be damn close to finished. And by the end of the evening, I'll, maybe nine, 10 o'clock tonight, I'll have taped uh, at, at least 180 of them out. Maybe I'll have that high lid to do out there in the, uh, in the great room. But I wanted to show some of the new guys a few tricks that I've learned over the years. One, one is uh, when it comes to taping, you can spread your mud with a six, wipe it down with an eight, and it's super fast. This room here probably has a eight sheet lid in it, maybe nine sheets, it's not that much. But I'm gonna go ahead and, and stroke it out and see what, um, see what you guys think about this. So what I'll do is I'll first cut every one of my butt joints at the same time before I even put a piece of tape on. And I try to get as much mud on the knife as I can do in one, in one stroke. Because the less strokes you have in finishing, the faster you're gonna go. Sometimes I just need another little piece, but rarely. I don't use thick mud, because I've learned that thick mud will, uh, thick mud just takes more effort to put on. Now I also don't use a pan holder. I use a, I put it between my legs and I learned how to walk with it. I use a 14 inch pan to tape with. That way I have the most mud in my pan at one time and I can go a pretty far distance. In the summertime you can't go quite as far just because it's so hot the mud will start getting hard on you. But I put it all on with a six. I came, I came back and I cut my tape with an eight. This way, I'm minimizing how many strokes I use for each joint. It also keeps it very neat if you can spread the blood nice. Again, I try to go as far as I can with that one stroke of mud because I know that the 8 inch knife is going to cover the entire side of it. Both sides and cut the edge at the same time. Now you bazooka runners, I know you probably have something to say you can take this whole lid in 5 minutes and that's probably the truth. In fact, I know it is because I ran a bazooka for a couple years when I was younger. But for the new guys out here, the new guys, they don't, you guys don't have the money to buy, you know, $1,800 bazooka and pump. You just don't have it. Even 
even with some of the cheaper tools out there I've seen, cheaper prices, that's a chunk of money when you're starting out new. Now, I didn't take the whole lid, but I take a good little bit of it in five minutes. I'm gonna tape out the rest of these sheets and um, hopefully for some of you new guys, you picked up a trick and I don't know, it's the fastest way to tape that I know of is with a six and a eight up on the flats and butts. Then come back, I tape with a four on the angles and I'll try to run a whole room of angles at one time with the up and downs, come back and wipe them all down at the same time. The faster you can get the mud on the wall, the faster you're gonna go. And if you thin it down pretty good, it's going to go really smooth for you and look really neat when you're done. You guys have a great day.